hello and welcome back guys to android grid and in this tutorial we'll fetch some data from internet and put them to a recycler view so let's begin first and all you have to put these dependencies which are then this is already there but you need to this is the most important the volley just copy paste whatever it is and one more thing that i've done is this sublime text or any editor you want i have this is installed in my linux system so this is a linux sorry this is a json data we want to fetch it is title rating and release here as well so i just i just put this to the gem server which is here and when i open my browser you will see that the local host but it should not be local host you will see this data so let's start first of all i'll show you my output what i got let me just restart this whole tutorial this, this is the data what we will get in this tutorial so first and first open your main activity and just remove this concept trend layout to anywhere i create a layout and remove this text view with the recycle view recycler view and this to match print and match print i set id is a main what do you say this main list okay now in the main activity create a new variable new private variable and set is to recycle view and this to be am list declare this variable as am list equals to find view by id tidy dot main list that's it and now we have to create a new class for our model so we will say this is a movie because we are getting some movies names and one more thing is the, the adapter so we'll create a new class and name this as a movie adapter that's it create some movies and says the public string movie sorry it's gonna say titles and then we go with integer let me see this is the integer this is the integer same okay this is the title already defined in the scope yep rating and one more thing is the year create a new empty constructor and name this as a movie and then create a new constructor and let's say name this is a constructor choose all items and then click on generate again and click on get and setter again choose all things that's it our model class is done thug tools yep let's in the movies adapter open your this and it's the public what is public class view holder extend is a view holder view holder name is big this view holder and then go and create a constructor matching the super and this let me extend this and we have to extend this as a view holder not view holder adapter sorry for this adapter view holder now just click on this icon and implement the methods click ok that's it now we need a new private we'll use private context context and the private list and this list will be going as a movie so we'll use a movie there and then a list and then right click there and click on generate and go to constructor both items you have to choose and at this get item count we will do the thing like list dot size at this view holder view holder on create view holder will do something like this the view v equals layout in folder dot from context dot inflate our layout okay we now to create a layout print and false false that's it new view holder as v that's it and now we have to create a new layout let us say this is a single item not this one single single item and here we go change the constructor layout to linear layout whatever like this not this one 
linear layout same here the linear layout and layout how to web content and the origin will be go as a vertical and then we need a text view i mean three text views okay. the text view will be bigger than all of these not got this text view mesh and web content and text title copy paste paste this will go be as a year and this will go as a rating and let's bigger its size to 18 sp and give them id let's click here id main titles id as a main rating here we go with main oh, let's say this year main year that's it add a padding looks little clean will look clean with it. 10 db that's it 10 db no editor now we got our layout now we can work with it single item layout and this is still not completed we have to do some more things which is public text view text title title and text date not date rating and text year and one, one more thing that we have to do here is let me just increase the volume so one more thing we have to do here is declare them this will take a little time not too uh, not much item view dot find you by the r dot id dot main title control e control d and main years main ratings and at this text rating and this text is going to be text here okay now we can work with this this is going to be movie and movie equals to list dot get position and then holder dot text title dot set text to movie dot get title this is the string so it will not give us any error but in these two items will it will give us some error errors errors get rating text rating and there you go with text here as well not got any error why let me see there we, yep it because it's integer but we can still do something the string dot value of to decrease the chances of getting the error string dot value of that says the movie your string accepted why it is accepted so that's it we got we done our adapter movie class Oops. so that's it we completed movie setup from movies and now we have to come with our main activity to get the data and let's load this private linear layout for the layout manager and private list is a movie that's it we're going to use a movie list movie list and then we need adapter let's say this adapter adapter and we need linear layout equals to not this one new linear layout this linear layout manager dot set origin as a vertical and then one more thing that we can do here is the item decoration let's create a new variable private divider item decoration divider item decoration and this divider item goes to equals to new divider item decoration and list dot get context and the audition linear layout dot get audition that's it and on this dot set adapter is adapter one thing that we forget i think this is the list dot equals to new array list and this adapter is going to be to new movies adapter this will go this and not this get up this more text and here we go with the list this is going to be movie list and adapter list yep m list dot set has fixed size to true and m list dot set layout manager to linear layout manager 
and we'll create a new method here private void get data that's it now we have to get data here that's it looks not clean that's it now clean let's do this we already added the volley so we need let me see how it starts it starts from array and then we object so we need a json array object json array request I and mean, json array request equals to new json array request we need a url let's get the url mm -hmm. yep that is a private string url equals to let us get the url we have to do some things first copy paste this sometimes the localhost will not work in emulators so we if you are in the windows or mac you will say ip config but in if you are at linux you have to say ip config 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 that's it we got so to get the ip address you have to find this relax in init and copy this by just right clicking and copy let's put it here and we'll go to our data station now we here we go to our data station url let's put a semicolon there and a new response new response listener and new error listener <laughs> that's it and then we need a request queue we'll use request queue request queue equals to volley not this volley dot get new response query this this way dot aid just another request if you got any error say this to log dot error error let me see volley instead of this volley error to string now we need a four and let me see if there we can see we need if you know the loops you it will be easy for you i equals to zero and i is bigger than response or smaller than response what you say this a plus plus here we go we are getting a error because we are we need a length so that's it length and you try not this one try and catch just an exception e e dot mistake trends okay to get a feedback let's add a progress dialog there which will equals to new progress dialog this one progress dialog dot set message loading dot 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 progress dialog dot show dot show progress dialog dot dismiss progress dialog dot dismiss progress dialog dot dismiss adapter dot notify data same changed we'll say json object json object equals to new json not this one response dot get json object i index and then we create a new movie this to view x movie equals to new movie movie dot set titles to this an object dot get string so that is the most important thing we have to do here is the title rating and ledger case sensitivity is the most important thing so title releaser don't stuck here it is religious not here set rating set here i think what's yep one more thing i have to tell you is this rating is the integer religious integer but title is the string so the get string will not work we have to put a get integer and same here the get integer so hopefully it will work one more thing we have to do is this list dot add movie let's test our app and see what we got 
one more thing I forget M list dot set item not add item animator decoration to divide item decoration okay get yeah, data thing I think it looks good let's test our app okay where is the testing I think videos recording yep test our app in the emulator let me see where is the emulator yep let's wait over here it will be done very soon or i can just pause the video if you test the work test the app it will not work because we forget uh, one more thing add the manifest open your manifest and put a uh, user's permission of internet so it will use it the internet permission now it will work let's test again okay where's the emulator yep here here is the emulator will work again okay it loaded it let me open my sublime text what is this this when you see the title is dawn of plant of apes and 8.3 that's the one more thing that we found done because it contains a point instead of this we can say where it is yep here just an integer to number or you can say it is it's your own you want it or not it's a number so you just number and after it to double that's it so thanks for watching i'll so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching see you soon